So yesterday's videos got taken down and uh, I spent about eight hours editing. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy about that. If you weren't here for yesterday, it was only up for about probably 30 minutes. We posted a video, posted a video. You know, we, got, we had a great idea. We had a great idea. It was ranking popular in. I got this idea from watching other YouTubers. You know, I was just on YouTube upon the 11, 12 days that I've been going missing. You feel me? Don't worry about that. I'm trying to get back on my consistency right now. You feel me? I was like, I was. I, know, I gotta get my hand circles on. You I was like, yo, let me do something like that. So I was like, yo, let me rank the most popular anime. So I put it up. I had really good visuals. I had all this stuff, and it was like, nah, bro. I got copyright stricken three times after revising the, the video. Three times YouTube found a way to find something new in the video the copyright strike and take down. But we're back, you know what I mean? We're gonna try again with less. I'm gonna summarize yesterday's video because I was gonna add it in a super long part. Let's go, YouTube, with your boy, my day back with another one. Today we are going to be ranking the most popular animes to known to man, I guess. Those include Dragon Ball, this series, the whole series with it, this is including Naruto, Naruto, and Sh Naruto Shippuden, you feel know I me? Mean? So we're gonna be including Super. Uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z, you, you, you know, the whole series, you know? One Piece, Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia, Jujutsu Kaisen, Hunter x Hunter, Black Clover, Demon Slayer, and... There was another one. <laughs> I forgot. Like I said in yesterday's video, you were the only, like, three people to catch it before it got taken down. We were judging these animes off of plot, animation, characters, character development, episode total, fighting style, real realism, like, the message to the viewer, the power scaling, all that cool stuff, you feel me? And I'm an anime watcher, you feel me? I've been watching... I've been watching all them shits. I've been watching all them. It's It's pretty easy to pick out a good anime from a bad one. You feel me? We got all these top tiers, and we got a whole lot of mid tiers. And yesterday I was being a little bit too friendly to those ones, so I'm gonna revise a couple of our means. You mean? I will only take opinions from some people. You feel me? Those people that claim to watch anime, but watch it in dub. The door, my boy. You feel me? That's like pouring the, the milk in the bowl first before the cereal. It's like putting on lotion first and then getting in the shower. Things that are clearly not supposed to happen, right? All right. But we're gonna be starting with Attack on Titan like we did yesterday with 86 episodes and still continue to be ongoing. The Attack on Titan series is depressing. I'm not gonna lie. It's very clean in animation, character development, everybody's important, you feel me? Uh, the fighting style is pretty realistic. It's not like they just got superpowers they can just punch and yell at people. No, they gotta climb up and slash the people down, you feel me? Very cool. Very cool anime. Based off of plot alone, the plot of the story of this anime alone carries the whole show, for sure. So I will give this probably, this, I'm gonna keep it at an A rating like I did yesterday. Attack on Titan deserves an A just by the plot alone. Animation was clean, and up until now, I've never had a problem with it besides the fact that uh, their animation studios take a long to get these episodes out, but that's besides the point. I will say that it's so depressing to the point where I had to put down the anime a couple times, and now that I've lost track in the middle of it, so I have to go back and rewatch it eventually. It won't be too hard, but imagine watching your mom get eaten by a big old human. Dang, I don't know. Next, I think we went to MHA, My Hero Academia. Cool show, cool John. Heroes versus villains, classic. You feel me? It's it's a classic little spin on. We got Deku, our protagonist, being a scrub, still a scrub, but we're noticing that he is gaining powers that even All Might didn't uh, utilize, well, or at least we didn't see him utilizing the whole show. All we seen All Might use was straight up just his strength. But up until that point, I'd say from the beginning until like the middle, that was really good. Now from the middle until where we're up now, it's kind of like lackluster, you feel me? I'm, I started to lose interest, I'm not gonna lie. That doesn't mean that this show is not a great show, but I'm gonna leave it at it, you feel me? As of right now, to see, it should be glorified because it's a good show, 100 and what? 113 episodes and still ongoing and I think like four or five seasons, something like that. If you were to say that this was your favorite anime, I wouldn't blame you, you feel me? That's cool, you got it. But you're missing out, my boy. You're missing out because it's not on, it's not finished yet. The best anime news I've gotten in a while. Hunter x Hunter is making a comeback with a season through three? Season three, I think? I don't know which season, but they're coming back. Hunter x Hunter, if you didn't know, it was originally canceled after the animator or the, the creator was just like, nah, I don't feel like making it no more. I don't know why. But they had it at a cliffhanger. Garn just met his father finally. We finally get to see what his dad is like, you feel me? And then they just stop the show. It's like, what the hell? Like, what do we just watch this for? I think the show was made in like 2013, so it's been a while. You feel me? Something like that. I, my facts may be a little off, and I know they're off. I'm just giving like probably estimates based on the animation. But the animation is pretty cool. Creativity of the show is very nice. Hunter x Hunter, 
great job, you feel me? Especially that is 148 episodes. I like the longer, the prolonged animes. I don't like the 12 episode animes because I feel like I just got in there, you feel me? I didn't really experience nothing. So I like the longer animes that actually get to stretch out so you can derive feelings for certain characters, watch them grow, all that cool stuff. Hence, we have a whole category a character developed. So I'm happy that Hunter is, Hunter is coming back and I would say this is also a C tier. Very entertaining to watch. Very, very, very entertaining to watch. But it's not up there, you feel me? It's not. We're, it's cool to watch Gone, you feel me? We have our little our pedo Hisoka, you feel me? He's cool to watch, you feel me? Fighting styles and the, the key and the, the whatever types of uh, energy that happened. It's been like two years, bro. Forgive me, bro. Like, I, I barely remember it, but it's cool. You feel me? It's, it's a calm little you mean. The last arc, the ant arc, was so drag, though. I'm not gonna lie, that was the worst arc ever. Like, ew, I hated watching that thing. It was really cool to watch, but they dragged the freak out of it. So I'm gonna give this a C. It's a C tier. It's a C tier. I'm sorry, bro. If you want to talk to me about it, let me know. Let me know. Uh, am I making these wrong like rankings for me? Let me know in the comments. Me. What do you think that these rankings are really supposed to be at? Black of the Clover. One of my favorite. Great John. Very creative. Not really well okay. Not really creative. A lot of enemies are out there like that. But Mage is magic and protagonist being complete doodle -doo all the way up and probably until the end of the show where he's probably going to become the king of mages. Wizard king. King of whatever it's called. However, the plot takes a good turn up until right about now where we're figuring more about the the origin of our protagonist and his rival, you know. People actually die in the show. There's actually like the super overpowered people are no longer overpowered, similar to like uh, maybe Boruto now, Naruto doesn't have his Yumi no more. So it seems like, you feel me, that these people, our protagonists are about to step up tremendously, which is it's just exciting. I like growth. That's probably like my biggest like thing about anime it's just like i love the zero to 100 real quick protagonist type stuff even though they're all the same and everybody you already know our protagonist is gonna win damn near every single time but i just like it i don't know so i put this black clover at 170 i think 170 episodes i'm gonna give it a b plus i'm gonna give it a b plus because of the animation that was ongoing for a very long time and if you didn't know from yesterday's video I explained that the animation from Black Clover itself kind of gets it down from an A tier to a B tier because the plot's pretty good. The plot's really good, especially now. But the animation itself brought it down when they went with one studio where their fast-paced fights, I think it was when we were fighting in between kingdoms, magic, magical kingdoms, they had a very fast-paced style where they lost definition of character and it was very fast-paced. Like, I don't like the loss of definition or, you feel me, quality throughout the drawings when, you, when they fight, you feel me? I don't know what this is, don't ask me. So I'm gonna give it a B, it was an A, but nah, it's gotta be like a B, B plus, you feel me? So, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it. Moving on to newer animes, Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer plot, cool. Family slaughtered. If you didn't watch the first episode, I'm sorry. Like look, his family got slaughtered. He's got a sister on his bed that is now demon. I was already spoiled by the the antagonist being trash apparently or something like that. I didn't well, it didn't come out with the animation. I don't read manga, so I know I can't read, bro. But the animation itself carries this show completely. You feel me? Animation in the Mugen Train arc, now the the city arc, super fire, super cool to see what the origin of. Tanjiro, Tanjiro, Tanjiro's, uh, thing, our, our protagonist, <laughs> I'll be forgetting the names of all these characters, I watch way too many shows. It's super cool to see his origin of fire breathing style come back with his nice little sun earrings, his sun earrings indicate that he's a fire breather or like whatever, sun breather, I don't know. But it's a super powerful technique that it was passed down from his family and he's supposedly inherited this super cool samurai demon slayer power. So plot, it's cool. Not the most awesome, but people die. It's not like plot armor, you feel me? Not completely plot armor, because he does get whacked, you feel me? So I say this is a calm. This is this is a good calm B plus on its way up to A. It's climbing, you feel me? It's climbing for sure. We gotta, I got to see it through. So once these new seasons comes out, I might be able to update. But right now, we just gotta keep it at a B. Jujutsu Kaisen, you feel me? Now, great. And here, I'm, I'm just gonna say it like that. Right now, all right, all right, no, wait, relax. I, you guys get? Are you sitting down for this? All right, all right. It's dick eating. It's dick eating. It's dick eating bad. Just literally, bro. The most beautiful drawn anime. I'm so mad. I'm so mad because it is literally a copy and paste off the goat. The goat of all anime. You have your three characters in a team with a white-haired 
uh, instructor. That white haired instructor just happened to be overpowered. The kid that nobody really liked with spiky hair just happens to have a demon dwelling inside of him that gives him power. A black haired kid that acts super cool. And a girl that really nobody likes and is kind of freaky. Like, come on, come on. You can't say that's not Naruto, bro. That's literally Naruto. They even referenced it in the show, bro. So due to the fact that they trying to just bite off of my boy, Toe, feel me? Don't bite off of Toe. That's my boy. He's the OG. But it's way too early in the show to give it anything above us. Uh, uh, Honestly, I could put this time out of C, bro. C, B range, bro. I don't even know because it only has 24 episodes. But animation carries this show completely. Like, that is the most beautifully drawn animation. Whoever, like, yo, when I make a cartoon, if I turn into a cartoon animation, bro, I want them to draw my Yumi. But uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> B, C range. More towards C. Did I get all 10? I got nine, I think. I don't know. Whatever. All right. So now here comes to the big three. And a lot of people are going to be disappointed on this just because y'all are blinded and i'm sorry to say if your decision is different than mine it's cool you have your opinion and you're entitled to your own you feel me but you're delusional if you think that i'm not absolutely 100 percent correct listen i'm i'm one i'm just right 99.5 percent of the time going into dragon ball and i'm just gonna say it the worst anime to ever exist ever ever literally the worst and i don't i to this day i do not know how this anime got so popular everything once you look once you bring it down to every category we have plot animation characters character development episode total number fighting style realism message to the viewer power scaling everything is complete shit. complete trash utter garbage plot there practically isn't one from dragon ball the original Everything from there and up went to sh completely trash. The original Dragon Ball had a story. It made sense. Goku was a child who came from another planet. They were just super powered. He crashed down on planet Earth. Why planet Earth? We don't know. Just boom. And from there, Goku makes martial arts his thing. You feel me? Because Saiyans are just naturally born fighters. Cool. That's a great story right there. Now, the other things added in that were completely unnecessary. Example A. Why did they have to make Saiyans monkeys? Why was that significant in any part of the show? Like, why did that, like, okay, they're aliens, cool. But what sort of significance did that have at all? Like, why even add that detail in there? They were just strong people. None of, by, nobody keeps their tails. Why did you even put that in there? That's stupid as hell. They're a monkey, and when they see the moon, they turn into werewolf monkey gorillas. What? Oh, get this one. Guess what happens for the, literally the rest of the series? Bad guy comes from outer space. Oh no, what are we gonna do? He's gonna destroy it. Let's call Goku. What does Goku do? Get his ass beat. Oh, but by getting his ass beat, what does he get? Stronger. He beats the character finally after almost letting the earth die. And then what happens again? Oh no, another character coming from outer space that just wants to kill people. Why? And why do they always choose earth? We don't know, but he's here. What do we have to do? Call Goku, because apparently Vegeta and literally everybody other, every other martial artist just can't hold their weight ever. Like Vegeta, I don't even know why he was in the story. He never fought. He never won a fight throughout the whole series. Literally, he only won like one fight, and those were those were characters that sucked. And like literally, they they had so much pride, and then they get whacked immediately. I hated it, bro. I hated it. The fact that the most like infamous fight in the whole series in Dragon Ball Z was Goku versus Frieza and that epi that lasted from that lasted like 20 episodes of straight screaming and nothing happened Goku was clearly stronger than Frieza at one point but decides not to kill him after killing his whole family and a whole planet of human beings and then Frieza kills himself like what did I just sit through 20 episodes of screaming and pain for just for just for Frieza to accidentally kill himself the worst plot ever and then guess what comes back to life as a robot and then gets whacked again by a child and then comes back again somehow why is he just why isn't he just not dead why is he how is he still alive and why is he not a robot anymore how terrible whole story shit it's completely trash animation i mean it was older so i give it space there but like it just didn't make sense throughout the whole thing characters irrelevant everybody besides goku i don't know why they were added into the story they had sons Sons that were clearly supposed to be originally fighting and better than Goku. And then out of nowhere, they just nerfed every single son they had because of Chi-Chi for some reason. Like, what? 
terrible show. Worst show ever did, to be honest. That's F tier, clearly. And I don't care what you watch. You can watch Super, you can watch, you can watch Broly. They're the same thing. It's the same thing. A beetle, a big, cute beetle who just, he's just strong as shit. Why? We don't know. He just had his family killed just like every other protagonist or villain ever. And he's just strong as shit. Just screams and he just overpowers everything. Why is he our even, like, I don't know, bro. Why? It, it's terrible. It's terrible. Literally terrible. Power scaling doesn't make sense. Literally every time Goku gets stronger, it seems like this is the next best thing. He's stronger than gods now. Nope, he still gets f***ing whacked by a dude that can run fast. Like, does that? it doesn't make sense. Like, this whole story doesn't make sense. Even listening to them explaining how their power levels are, this is, this is what happens when a Super Saiyan goes beyond a Super Saiyan. That's beyond a Super <laughs> Like, I'm sitting here watching this like, yo, you've got to be crazy if you were over like five years old and actually like this so bro i don't understand how people can sit here and really like if you ever say dragon ball is over any other anime ever bro i might have to like fight you bro like literally 12 episode animes are better than that any listed death note better mm, bro like that's that shit's trash bro trash trash get me off of that bro i don't even want to talk about that trash anymore one piece one piece has a weird and and unique phenomenon going on with it. Now, One Piece has 1,018 episodes currently. It started back in the late 90s and is still going on to this day. Now, here's the thing about this show. It's very, it's a very good idea. Plot is really, it's cool, it's creative and it's, they're going on the direction that I think they are. It can be very, very creative and complicated. I like complex plots, stuff that, okay, this happens, and this happens because of this happens, this happens because of this happens. I like the, the, you feel me? I just smacked the crap out of the mic. I'm so sorry. So the plot itself, you know, he starts off as a rubber man. You know, he has brothers and stuff. Cool, I guess. And there's so much, they had so many episodes to explain what's going on that it keeps me clinging on to the show, hoping, just hoping that something significant can come out of it in the end. Because I know that they didn't just put all this cool stuff in there for no reason. Monkey D. Luffy, the the middle, the D standing for like like going against the world government. His father is a revolutionary. You got all these cool things that are happening in the story. You know, Blackbeard, he just became the emperor, one of the emperors, you feel me? So much cool stuff. And for some reason, after 1019 episodes, does Luffy still not know how to use his fists? And it's pissing me off to no max, bro. I should not have to go through two years of watching this man get whacked in every single situation that he has. He is so stupid. Everyone in the character, every, characters in the show is sh Characters, sh Just like the powers that they have is so sh And there's no reason why a dinosaur man, a man with T-Rex arms, is able to fight anybody in the show. We have literally people that can spit fire, people that can fly, rubber men. Luffy is made out of rubber. Zoro can cut an asteroid falling towards Earth, and a dinosaur is able to just, to, it makes no sense, and it pisses me off. Nothing, it's, it's because this anime is supposed to be geared towards younger children, but clearly they are dragging the absolute out of this anime to the extent where it feels like they're just making up as they trash characters probably because of characters and how stupid they are is the reason why i hate this show like seriously i hate i don't hate one piece because it has so much potential i watched a video behind explaining what they could be going towards and i pray that they go that direction because it be, it, it can be potentially so good or it could be so good but it seems like they're just dragging shit just to drag it you have an episode, literally the whole episode, where they're just staring at Kaido being asleep on the ground. I don't care. I don't want to see this. Luffy punched him. He, he literally, Kaido literally jumps off of clouds to try to end his own life, and he lands head first, and he doesn't die. Like, what do you think? Why do you think Luffy's punches is going to do something? It, it doesn't, oh, oh, my God. I'm going to be like 35, and the show ends, and I swear to you not, if he's not the Pirate King, if he doesn't beat Blackbeard, and if the, the theory that I have in my mind 
isn't really the actual three, I'm gonna lose my shit, bro. C tier. I would put it at a D. One Piece is a C tier anime, bro. Realism, none, bro. C tier, bro. Get out of here, bro. Try to argue with me if you can, bro. Argue with me if you can. You're not winning. Go in the comments and I dare you to start an argument. I dare you. Gap, have good examples and everything. I'm coming heavy, bro. I'm coming heavy, bro. And last but not least, Naruto. Now, I say specifically that this is the GOAT because of the, 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 the categories that we have right now. Plot, creative. Animation, iffy. Characters and character development, very, very unique. Unique. Not every anime has the same thing and the same type of type of dynamic and realism that goes that pairs with the characters and the character development. You feel me? Relationships and all. Episode number total. I like like I said earlier, they have the prolonged episodes. 500 episodes in one and like another two or three. So like 700 episodes plus total. We're not counting by our total. Uh, uh, message to the viewer. Very, 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 very creative. Okay, not creative, but there's an actual message that you derive from the story. You feel me? Power scaling makes sense. Unrealistic, but it makes sense. They made sure they made critical analysis within the show, comparing each characters and stuff, so that you can understand the power scaling in the show. You feel me? We even have YouTubers that do nothing but make videos on power scaling and how unique and creative and and depth it can get with each character that they introduce in the show. You cannot do that with a show like Dragon Ball. You cannot do that with a show like One Piece, clearly because we don't even know all the characters and we don't even know the extent of our protagonist power yet. You feel me? We can go into this, feel me? Into the thick of it. This is why Naruto is the GOAT. Plot, friends, Naruto, he's a loser. Nobody likes him because of a demon dwelling inside of him. He learns to take care of it, control of it, and eventually he wins everybody's trust by winning a ninja war, you feel me? He, he goes crazy, you feel me? And everybody likes him. Starting from nothing, once again, to becoming something. Growth, something that I like, you feel me? Originally hated, spat at, nobody liked you, and he still wanted to love people. That's, that's heartwarming, feel me? Even the people that he wanted to be rivals with, neglected him, hated him, left him. And he still won the trust of his friend. His only friend. That just makes me want to cry right now, bro. By that alone, had no parents. You feel me? Sasuke, no parents. Watch his peoples get p killed in front of him. Everything, bro. Every everything about that story is so good. And no matter which character you look at, they have a backstory to them, which is what I love about it. It's a lot of filler, but if you really like the story, filler is needed in each and every anime ever. Feel me? That's why I like longer epic or longer enemies. You feel me? You derive feelings, you get to see the backstories of everybody. It's not just like random characters that just come in out of nowhere like One Piece for some reason just had some random impact on the world. Like, no. It makes sense in Naruto. And the stuff that happened way back in the past happens up until the point where the show starts, you feel me? And it, it reflects everything that happens and what happens from the starting point on, which is cool. Which is why you figure out like later, when you're down here in the story, it's like, oh, shit, that's because when before he was born, this happened and that's like, fuck. That's what makes the, the story created and like very in depth and I can't find the word for it. I'm saying the same words over and over again, but like, bro, that's just it, what makes it good, bro. Even the fighting style, who doesn't want to be a ninja, bro? I just did the craziest dude. Realism behind it, bro. Look, if, if your parents was gone before you was born, you probably be raising yourself off the straight instant ramen noodles too, bro. If you seen your peoples kill your own peoples, you feel me? You probably gonna go after that person too. What is it realistic about that? Yeah, obviously they're ninja. Yeah, obviously he has a spinning ball in his hand that can destroy anything. Unrealistic, yeah, cool. But the dynamic of it, huh? Everyone has a backstory, characters and their growth, even their instructor. OP at first, but he learns to grow within himself as well. Through our protagonist, of course. What what more do you want from that? Nothing. You can't get that's a beautiful story. Beautifully written story. Plot. Mm. Plot is mm. it get, he does have a lot of plot armor, for sure. Naruto has a Naruto and Sasuke have a crap ton of plot armor for sure. But it makes sense to why he has it. Literally a demon dwelling inside of him. Yeah, they were given the power of gods to yeah, but you feel me? 
Like, like, relax, come on, relax. Realistically, in my head, it's just the best written story. It is. And it makes sense. It feels the most realistic. They have wars. Wars that started for actual good reasons, unlike One Piece or Dragon Ball. Someone just came from another place and just like, I want to beat you up. No, One Piece, they're literally just chasing a piece of treasure. Cool, whatever. It's to be called the Pirate King. No one cares. I don't care about that. I don't want to see you for 1,020 episodes just to get a piece of gold. That might not even be gold. <sighs> we know what we're putting in that, feel me? The only S tier anime that I know of right now, feel me? Only S tier anime. We're only talking about Naruto, Naruto shipping, dude. Not adding that Baruto, bro. That was super disappointing. Super disappointing. Okay, okay, okay. I'll give it a fair. If we're adding in Baruto, put it at an A. If we're adding in Baruto, put it at an A. They just nerfed my two boys, bro. They nerfed toe and size, bro. I'm not trying to see that, bro. And if you don't want to argue, if you want to have a nice, friendly conversation, yo, Mighty, I think this is supposed to be at a C or an A, you feel me? This is why. Let me know in the comments below, my boy, because, like, I want to hear, I honestly want to hear y'all's opinions. I'm just joking. I'm not going to argue with y'all, you feel me? Let me know. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it's the old movies I got to watch, because I didn't watch the movies. I'm watching straight show, you feel me? I watch Broly. You feel me? That's the one that y'all glorify over there. Let me know what I'm missing, feel me? I could be wrong. Let me hear it. Without further ado, man, listen. If you like the video as well, it also helps other anime blankers or people that just want to, you know, see this topic be introduced into my channel so it helps the, the the channel greatly just by clicking that like button i won't even ask you to subscribe but if you want to subscribe you can do that too and greatly it helps out with that youtube algorithm you feel me so please smash that like button you feel me and uh, without further ado the more is out of here once again you feel me hopefully this doesn't get put up or put down y'all enjoy y'all day you feel me i'm gonna go watch something good something great that's not One Piece or Dragon Ball, and I'm going to be very happy. I didn't brace the, the landing at all. All right. I'm going to see y'all later.